Hi, I'm Shelley Levette with ChildCareLand.com and today I'm going to show you how to make apple cinnamon dough. This is really a fun project that we do during an apple unit. The children have a lot of fun playing with the dough and they can make all kinds of things with it. And If you use cookie cutters and you let the um, dough air dry, the children have um, ornaments. But this you can also be done closer to Christmas so those ornaments will be nice and fresh and uh, cinnamon smelling. So we do it twice a year, once close to Christmas and then once during an apple theme because the children like to use the mix of applesauce with the cinnamon and the glue. It's very easy to do. You just need applesauce, cinnamon. This will probably be your most expensive ingredient but I just bought the generic brand from the store. And you need glue, a bowl, measuring cups, a spoon, and measuring spoons. I do want to let you know up front that this is not an edible dough. The children cannot eat it because of the glue that's in it, but it does smell yummy. And there, I know there are other, other scented doughs out there. So you do may need to use supervision um, for younger children who think this is gonna be like a cinnamon cookie or something, but otherwise it's a lot of fun. I'm just gonna give you the basic single recipe. You'll have to um, multiply the ingredients um, to make it for a larger group, but, and I will also have this on my website, childcareland.com, underneath the video section. I have the complete instructions and ingredients there as well. So you would start with a half a cup of applesauce and I just use the plain applesauce. So a half a cup of that and then you would add two tablespoons of white glue. And So we'll do that next. Two tablespoons of white glue One, and this, you know, you can turn this into a lot of math um, learning for the children as well, because you have to measure out half cup of applesauce, a tablespoon, and then later it'll be cinnamon as well to add into that. All right, so that was our two tablespoons of white glue added to our applesauce, and then you would mix that together. So this is a quarter cup, so I'll be doing two of these for the half a cup. Okay, and then you just add it slowly to your mixture. And you want it to get to be the consistency of like a dough, where it can be rolled out. All right, so now you have it, so it's nice and thick. And you can start kneading it into a ball if you want. Although that looks pretty pretty mixed. And you just roll it around. And this is where the, ch the children love this part right here. It's not quite as stiff as play dough, but um, it still makes a nice dough. And after you're done the children are going to wa wash their hands with because um, your hands will have the cinnamon or brown from the cinnamon, but that's all right. And then what would you would do after that, after you have your ball of cinnamon all mixed up, is you would put it on some wax paper. And it can be rolled out and played with just like any other dough. And you could use stamping, letter stamping on here, cookie cutters. There's all kinds of things you can do with this. And so you want to get this to be about maybe, a, uh, I don't know, about a quarter inch. If you're going to do ornaments later in the year with these, you roll them out. But there's just a lot. Children can use their tools to make um, holes in it, cookie cutters. And they, I know they have uh, Play-Doh letter stamps and stuff that can be used too as well. So, but it's just, you know, it's got a different kind of a texture. It's more of a grainier feel than Play-Doh. It smells good. It can be easily manipulate, manipulated. And the children really love to work with this. Now, if you're going to use this for ornaments later in the year, again, you would just roll it out flat, out flat, and then you would use your a cookie cutter of your choice and cut it out like you would normally would do, like if you're using a sugar cookie dough or something. Let's use this for an example here. And I don't have a um, Christmas type cookie cutter with me today, but I have a monkey 
cookie cutter. And so you would do that just like a normal cookie. Separate the edges from it. From your, your cookie cutter. Oops. And that would be the cookie shape or your ornament shape. You scoop it up with a spatula and you would put it on a cookie sheet that's been lined with wax paper like so and you probably can't see them very well. Then you would take a straw, put it where you'd want um, to hang your um, yarn. You would attach yarn with it later on so that could hang from your tree or wherever you're going to hang these really wonderful smelling ornaments. So then you'd have your hole into the um, whatever you made. This was the monkey. And uh, this takes about three, maybe three to five days to air dry. And you do occasionally want to flip these over so the other side gets exposed to air as well. But again, this is really a fun activity. It's a great cooking activity for um, the early learning environment. And it's very easy to do. And um, children just need to wash their hands when they're done. But it's a lot of fun and they like to do it. And um, older children can certainly help measure, pour the ingredients in, stir, roll things out, manipulate with their fingers. There's lots of things that you can do with this. Lots of fun. For apple cinnamon dough, I'm Shelly Levette with childcareland.com. And thanks for watching.